Hi, welcome back to Bright Society. I'm Rebecca and this is Laura. So today's video is all about keepsakes. So you probably spent a lot of time and possibly money on creating beautiful things for your wedding uh, that obviously you enjoy on the day but you might then want to have some cherished memories and have them out after the wedding day mm -hmm. so we're going to give you some inspiration ideas how to turn some loved wedding items into some beautiful keepsakes yes and we're starting by talking about flowers uh, so they may be of the decorations that you've had around or indeed your bouquet or buttonholes that kind of thing so I guess the first thing that comes to mind is drying them, so you can hang them upside down, dry them out and display them around your home for years to come. Um, or you could use cuttings from them and turn them into the fillable Christmas baubles and hang them off your tree each year, so it's sort of a nice reminder yeah. each year, like, oh yeah, <laughs> that was nice. Um, or indeed, you can even send these things off and get them like turned into stuff like a candle, for example. Yeah. Probably one that you may not ever burn, I suppose, yeah. if, you, if the idea is a keepsake. <laughs> um, but again, it's something kind of really nice and ornamental kind of yeah. to have around your home. And another way of preserving your flowers is using silica gel. So with drying, kind of turning them upside down, hanging them somewhere for a while, you might lose some of the color of your flowers. But with silica gel, you keep that color and they look more like exactly how they were on the day you kind of it's a snapshot well, frozen in time yes exactly uh, we've actually done a video on how to do this yourself so we'll link that uh, below if you want to give it a go yourself but again this is something that you can send your bouquet away and have preserved for you and then get sent back and if you don't want to have the whole maybe your whole bouquet displayed you could turn some of the flowers um, in some artwork so have a shadow box or a deep frame and just have some of those um, put in there as a lasting memory. Mm. Another way of preserving them is with resin and something you can do yourself if you want to sort of invest in the starter kit or again there are companies that you can send off and have it done for you and turn into a myriad of things. There's sort of paperweights, coasters, like things with your like initials that you could use as artwork or stand on a mantelpiece, wine stoppers, mm -hmm. it goes on. Yeah, and also with resin, maybe with some smaller flowers, if you had real petal confetti as part of the wedding and you've got some left over and wondering what to do with that, you can have that, that turned into things like jewellery or maybe key rings. So the smaller items that maybe your flower, like the full flower heads are slightly too large to create. Mm. Or if the opportunity has already passed you by to actually do anything with your original bouquet, uh, because appreciate if you're not on this right away, <laughs> you've got a limited window, right? Um, but maybe you could just do something like ha commission a, a piece of artwork that includes like, a sketch of your bouquet in it that can be displayed. Or if you've maybe got from your childhood or from more recent times, like an old fa uh, flower press hanging around in a cupboard somewhere, you might want to dig that out and press some of your flowers yourselves or even just under some heavy books you could do this. And again, it's a way of preserving them for a long time. You can have them in like maybe like a glass frame, hanging up somewhere, turn into bookmarks, all sorts of things. I feel like that's something I did as a child. Yeah, yeah, likewise, likewise. Now moving away from flowers, depending on the kind of cake topper, if you're having one, uh, you have. This is something you can maybe turn into something else that you can keep after the wedding as well. So if you're maybe having some figures on top of your cake, or having something made again, that could maybe easily be turned into Christmas tree decorations. So if it's not something you want to just have out all year round, you can bring it out each Christmas, hang it on the tree, and just enjoy looking at something from the wedding day. Yeah. Or indeed you could just bring it out on your anniversary yeah. each year and stick it in your dessert at the end of the night to, to celebrate. I think we did that for the first couple of years. Oh, that's yeah. a nice idea. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so the next Kind of topic area is your cards and this could also be applied to your engagement cards as well as your sort of wedding cards uh, but you could kind of turn them into a book so you can do this yourself or there are companies again where you can send them off and they will do it for you where they maybe create a kind of cover 
case and bind them together for you so you can have them to kind of look back through as a, a yeah a more special individual thing rather than uh, like just having them all in a plastic wallet shoved somewhere <laughs> you know because I appreciate you kind of want to keep them but yeah. or if you don't want to keep all the cards or the whole cards you could turn them into like a collage artwork so again there are companies that you can send all your cards off to to do this for you or you can do it yourself where you get these large like stamp paper cutter mm -hmm. shapes and then you choose that like, you cut out shapes from each of your card and then arrange them into a kind of collage um, maybe including some of the messages from inside as well you can just go to town and have fun playing uh, around with the position of them and then have it somewhere displayed in the house. So the next area is sort of dress or the wedding outfits. So you can maybe have the lace or whatever your dress was made of turned into some kind of jewellery. So you could have it set in some kind of resin. Again, there are companies that can do this for you if you're not feeling too crafty. Um, and yeah, create rings, necklaces, cufflings, it's all a possibility, but yeah, if you just want like sort of a small segment of it to be kind of kept so you can kind of just have it with you more often, or even have it like made into something like a fascinator for a future wedding, you know, use a bit of <laughs> your veil on it or something, you could dye it a different colour to be able to incorporate it in that way. Or maybe, well, it probably can be do, done with your wedding dress, um, and this also works with like men's shirts or other parts of the wedding outfit mm, you can time. yeah you can have them turned into keepsake bears so either for yourself or if you've got children or for future children if you're planning on those uh, something to give them to keep for years and years to come which has this special meaningful it's made of something meaningful from your wedding day mm. or oh, indeed depending on your style of dress you could have it dyed or significantly altered so you could wear it in some other form again so maybe if you have more kind of like a slip star wearing dress you can maybe have it cut into make it more of like a cami or lingerie nightwear something like that um i say or have it dyed so it looks a more day-to-day -day kind of item just so you can kind of have other opportunities and even the shoes yeah. so depending again a bit on the style but and obviously what fabric it's made of but you can have the shoes dyed so you can then just sort of have a pair of jeans and go on your night out or whatever and yeah get more of a life out of those shoes that you really loved. Now moving on to what to do with your kind of wedding photos so after the wedding and if you've had a professional photographer you'll get your photos back and the most obvious thing to do is either put some up and have them printed, put in a frame, or maybe get printed onto a canvas and just have those displayed around the house. You could also have them turn into a jigsaw puzzle. It's a fun way also creating gifts for family. Um, I did run that gambit myself for a couple of like Father's Day, Mother's Days and things afterwards. Um, yeah, so again, turning things into gifts for yourself, family. Another idea for a gift with your photos is creating, and probably for you, you will want one of these for yourself as well probably, is creating an album either via your photographer, they can often put them together for you, or you can create, mm. create one yourself like a photo book through a website such as, I think we both use Photobox for yeah. hours um, just to get them. So you've got yeah. physical we'll put copy. some links for those yeah. kind of things in the description <laughs> box below as well if you want to kind of hop straight yeah. to Because it's all well and good having all your digital photos, but yeah. it's some, it's nice to actually have a physical copy. Yeah, as well. of something of your yeah. most favourite ones. <laughs> so uh, we hope you found some of that inspiration helpful for what to do with those loved mm -hmm. items from your wedding day so you can kind of keep them in a more special way that's not in a box under the mm -hmm. spare bed. Uh, if you've got any other good ideas, do comment in the description box in the comment section below because it will really help out other brides and grooms watching this video. Um, if you like the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more content like this, we're here every Friday, so make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss out.